So this is the file on the zip file. So I go to the source, I go to install and install the file. So I go back to install zip file, the zip file. And I install the zip file, I submit and set up. And then I go again, I go to hard, choose plugin. So there's an update, click the update and voila. Update. If you have only one file, you just do the okay. I think um, that's not necessary then. We don't need this error. So this is done and I guess I don't need to update them. So once this is done, I go to settings and I give it any name. So I'm sure it is small letters, then small caps, small letters. So uh, normally I just like using what is on top of this. So I just say WooCommerce. I have a WooCommerce prefix. Uh, I can give it a name. So let's say the name is Download. I call it Download Website. The name of the plugin. I give it a description. Oh, I love this. So I copy this. And I paste it here as description and I put it down when I get back. So, as description, and voila, you can give it your name, download, as the name of the author. So, yeah, this is done, download name. So, for this, uh, okay, you can put your, your URL there. The website you are there is not necessary, it doesn't matter. Whether I put any URL there, it's just a URL to present the, uh, the author of the plugin. So here we are generating plugin. So I submit and then I'll get the plugin. So and then I'll click this download icon here. Download the plugin. And voila. This is the plugin that is going to the WooCommerce. You can see it as download there. It's going to the WooCommerce. So before I go to the WooCommerce, I have to do some system settings. So I go to system. I go to admin API here and I select everything. Select everything. So this allows the um, the plugin to connect via the API and it works fine on the WooCommerce website. So I do that and save. So after that is done. The next thing is to go and create an API. So I go to tools section here. When I tools, I go to API keys and then I say add key. Then I call it um, download WooCommerce. You can give it any name, it doesn't matter. For mine, I call it download WooCommerce just to identify it. So this is basic one, but then I want to give it everything. So this is like API callings for certain things that is going to be called from the uh, by the plugin from the WooCommerce that is connected to this API. So I want to ensure this API everything is selected. Normally I don't have to select this according to the documentation, but then I don't want to do this twice. So I select everything. So say yeah, everything in WooCommerce. It access to everything that this does. So an OTP. So this is done, and then I what I submit. So API is generated. So this is just say this is my WooCommerce. So the next thing I want to do is go to my WooCommerce website and upload the plugin. So I have a WooCommerce website here. I want to upload the blog, I go to plugins so on my WooCommerce, I go to add new. And then after adding new, I go to upload plugin. And then I add the plugin. So to add the plugin is quite simple. This is download, you can see the download file is called WooCommerce. I have it there and I install. So 
so and then I activated the plugin yeah my website is misbehaving you know what let me try this second WooCommerce website all right so this is another website um, we have the plugin then go to upload I'm going to choose file and then you now we can install it and then activate login that as is done now we'll continue and voila we have it there so whenever you are searching for your plugin, it's always under settings, and then you see it there, download, under settings, download, see it there. So for you to set it up, it's simple, so you go to, you get your API key, so how do you get your API key, simple, you go back to the, you go back to where we created the API key, you can see it here, and then there's this copy API key, you simply copy it, you go ahead and you what, you add the API key. So the second thing you want to do is okay you want to choose whether it's for sms or whatsapp so i recommend you use whatsapp if you don't have um because it's the one that is cheapest and you have no fee to pay but for sms you can choose sms as well whichever one you like all you have to just input this so for whatsapp id so for the whatsapp id how do you pick this so the first thing you want to do is to have connected your whatsapp to the um I've connected the WhatsApp to the server. So you should have connected the WhatsApp. From WhatsApp, let me connect my WhatsApp. Now what I mean by WhatsApp, you have to have go to the WhatsApp section here. You go to the account section here. And then to scan your uh, your WhatsApp and link it here. Just where you link your web WhatsApp. So you link it with this um, QR code here. So that's basically it. So let me scan. Alright, so it's simple. Now we have WhatsApp connected, and now we have to do is, as I mentioned earlier, we want to we want to add we want to add WhatsApp account ID here. So to get WhatsApp account ID, you go to the WhatsApp section, and then you go to account section, and then you see your WhatsApp that account is connected. Enjoy this business. I'm connected, it shouldn't connected, mine is not connected now, but it doesn't matter, I'm just using this for to your purposes. So you copy unique ID here. You copy, and then you go back here and then you watch just it control V. And that's it for this part. And I should in case you are using um SMS, um you want to if it's a device you are using. That's where you copy a uh, WhatsApp ID device. You go and get device ID for SMS. Let's see if there's an SMS right here. Go to Android section. So there's a device here. You copy it here. So this is the unique device ID. That's if you are using SMS. And then you want to paste it here for unique device ID. And if you have gateway also, you go and copy your gateway ID and put it here as well. If it's um, that is if you are using SMS here. So for this SMS, it's for this, but we are using WhatsApp, so we don't need this. So I'm removing it, and we are sticking to WhatsApp. And then we save changes. And then for admin settings, we go to admin settings. 
um, if you want to receive messages directly on WhatsApp for any orders, you click this. You want to receive messages for pending order, you click this. Completed, cancelled, refunded, failed, no stock number. And for mobile number, you want to put your mobile number as well. Then you want to put a plus there. And this is the template, you can edit it. You want to edit it and then you save. So this is the admin settings for low stock order and all of that. For customer orders, you should do the same thing. Click, click, and what? Save. And if you have a multi vendor uh, book commerce website, you click as well for multi vendor. So the multi vendor people can get this thing. And voila, it's done. Once you have done this, um, you should start working. You can test another and ensure the WhatsApp here in the WhatsApp section. For the account section is showing connected before you test. This case is showing connected before you test. So once that is done, you can start using the software to receive messages directly on WhatsApp and start getting messages on WhatsApp. So that's it. Thank you.